Hi boys and girls, like I said in the instructions, today we are focusing on the main character for our book report. We've already taken some notes on our main character, so now we're going to transfer that into a nice, put together, neat paragraph in our actual final draft. So, here's our main character page. I know you're going to run on a space, so I've provided you with an additional page. And if you need more room than that, then you can use the back as well. It won't have lines on it, but what you can do is just turn it around and start writing. Just make sure that you're writing on the back so that when you cut it out, you'll be able to see it. So we're going to start on this page, and I am doing because of Winn-Dixie, and my main character is Opal. And remember, this was on my notes already from the other day. So basically, I'm just taking my notes and putting it into complete sentences. So I'm going to say, in my book... I'm not going to say the title because I already know what the book is. Um, it's on the front cover and because I want to make sure that I save some space. So, in my book, the main character is Opal. I might write India Opal just because that's her whole name. And then I'll put Opal in parentheses so we know that that's what she goes by. Opal is a young girl who just moved. She is lonely and makes new friends throughout the book. So this is what I said, kind of that first descriptive part that I want. Okay, so I introduced my character in the book. My main character is India Opal, and I told about her. Opal is a young girl who just moved. She is lonely and makes new friends throughout the book. So that just gives me a glimpse inside her life. Now I'm going to pick a specific character trait. And on my notes from the other day, the character trait that I picked for her was big hearted. So again, I don't want to pick something too specific to a, a particular moment in the book. I want to pick something that kind of fully encompasses who she is as a person. So the character trait, I'm going to go to my other page, that I chose to describe Opal is big hearted. And now I want to give my evidence as to why. So I might pull my book out like this, but I also had this in my notes from the other day. So I'm just going to pull the same quote. When she said he was an ugly dog, but already I loved him with all my heart. So I'm going to write on page 14. She is big hearted. When she says he was an ugly dog, but I already loved him with all my heart. And quotation because it's directly from what she's saying. And I have one more line left. Um, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna say how do I want to end it? What should my description sentence or my conclusion sentence be? Um, and I might I'm gonna write it a little smaller just so that I can stay on this page for my example for you. I might say um, the or this describes my main character. Opal. I'm just keeping it simple. Okay? So, in my book, the main character is India Opal, or just Opal. Opal is a young girl who just moved. She's lonely and makes new friends throughout the book. The character trait that I chose to describe Opal is big hearted. On page 14, she is big hearted when she says, He was an ugly dog, but I already loved him with all my heart. This describes my main character, Opal. So, before you do this, Make sure you do it in pencil first, and then 
you really want to make sure that you know what you're saying and that you have your thoughts organized so that when you go to write on here, you're, this is your final draft. You wanna make sure that this is your draft where you are most proud of your work, okay? And then this is a scene of Opal showing the character trait, big hearted. So then I would pick the scene. It could be the scene that I chose in here. Um, it could be a different scene that you want to show. It doesn't matter which one, but then I would draw a picture of um, Opal, and in this case, I would draw the dog when she just um, took Win Dixie and decided that she was going to keep him for her own. So that's what I would draw in this box. Make sure to please do this neatly and take your time. And if you have any questions, you know where to find me.